Okie dokie. <clears throat> How's it going? We're gonna do this build today. Little ship, won't take long. Like 150 pieces. Something like that. Anakin's uh, Jedi Starfighter. And let's just get a uh, sound check over here. How's that going over there? Checking to see the make sure the music isn't too loud, but I have to uh, check on the television over there. Ha! So, one more check. Sounds okay over there. So let's get into it here. I've had this uh, set since it was brand new in 2008, so whatever that is. Uh, 18 years ago? No. Yeah. Bad math. 16 years ago. I don't know what year it is. And we'll just do a little bit of sorting here. I'm gonna try not to race through this build too fast. But yep. Yeah. We've had this set in the family uh, since it was brand new in 2008 or 2009. It came out in 2008. And uh, it was probably a birthday or Christmas gift for one of my kids, but I don't remember at this point. But uh, all of my childhood Lego and all of my kids' childhood Lego is all still here. So this is part of that. Separating by size here. I think we'll limit this stream to just this single build, so I'll try not to rush through it too fast. But this stream might end up only being 90 minutes or less, I don't know. And at that point, I might come back for another stream later, but I'll, you know, I'll end the stream when this uh, build is done. And then maybe I'll do another stream a little bit later, depending on how early I finish this this build. My plan is to do a, uh, oh my goodness, look at me, I left my coffee in the kitchen. That's a terrible move, and this water is empty, leaving me nothing. This isn't a real break. Be right back.
continue where we left off. A little bit of panic there. Need my coffee. And I th think I have all the right colors for this set. Hard to say because some of my older sets, some of the pieces are missing and uh, they're replaced by the uh, same piece with the wrong color, which is fine for a lot of these ships. A lot of these, lot of these uh, models have that purposeful color variation anyway. There might be some wrong colors in here. That just means I've lost the original piece. So we're doing a close enough kind of thing. should have all the parts. It is an old set, but I have rebuilt it at least once. Just to make sure I had all the parts. Alrighty, here we go. Set 7669 from 2008. used to want you to uh, separate partially by color, which kind of makes sense, but it uh, works out better for me if I separate by size. Okay, let's get this build going. connector pieces here and this build is almost exactly like Ahsoka's hey Mr. Potato Butt the first piece is always the hardest yep you have to set it down at the perfect angle or your whole build is screwed up how are you Mr. Potato Butt good to see you in here we are building this little sucker it won't take long, so I'll try not to build too fast. It's uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter from the Clone Wars. The, uh, the animated Clone Wars. Not too bad, just lurking at work. Nice. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I had a nice little Fallout stream this morning, and now I'm getting on to the Lego part of the day, so... Enjoying my day. Thank you for asking. All right, what else do we have here? Gotcha. We also added this in that last one. That's what I'm missing. Now flip it over. Hope your work day goes well, and I appreciate that lurk. All right, that's number four. Number five, looks like we just add these two pieces. 
So, like I was saying, this this build is the ship is almost exactly like Ahsoka's starfighter. She just has different colors and slightly different back, just very slight variations, but it's based on the same design. Okay. Is that all we're adding? No. Also that. Okay, right here. This is only attached by one stud right now. Might have to mute if my dog starts barking here. He's good. Okay. Adding another part here. like I didn't have a red one of those. Might be a little slightly uncommon part. So it looks like I've used a black one there. This is going to be buried on the inside of the ship and it won't be seen, so it should be fine. This looks like it goes here. Yep. Did I hear correctly that you've rebuilt this set before? Yes, yes. This is an old set uh, from 2008 that we've had in the family since 2008. So I have built this uh, at least a couple times before. <laughs> but I just gathered all the re regathered all the pieces uh, last year, so it's kind of a new set to me after being uh, jumbled all together with all the other sets. In, in big bins over the years. I'm a brave man. <laughs> There's one thing I remember from Legos. They're harder to take apart than put together. Yeah, I love... Uh, the, it is true. Um, especially if you really put them together tightly. But, you know, it doesn't bug me. I, I do kind of enjoy taking them apart, too. I just enjoy the whole process, really. I even enjoy sorting them. Just kind of twisted. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess brave in a sense. <laughs> Just don't mind the tedium of, of sorting and taking apart Lego. Uh, putting Loctite on my Legos may have been a bad call in retrospect. Is that like uh, glue? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna build them one one time and display them, that's one way to keep them together, right? I just like to build them over and over again. Thread sealer, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> like uh, for plumbing? <laughs> and screws and engines things like that gotcha gotcha so metal 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 seals gotcha yeah that would hold lego together pretty good probably <laughs> okay oops i worked ahead i was supposed to do one of these two Okay, aside from the cheating where I worked ahead there, caught up with 10. Okay, try. 
trying not to speed through this this pretty little build, really. I skipped a step again. This one part of step 10. Okay, now it's gonna make more sense. Uh, sorry, I distracted you packing up for the night. See you around, GH. Don't worry about the distractions. I was hoping for distractions, actually, because otherwise I'm going to burn through this uh, build in like an hour. <laughs> but uh, take it easy, Mr. Potato Butt. Good seeing you. Hopefully we'll see you around, around Twitch. Thanks for joining. All right, let's see. What do we got here? It looks like I'm up to date. Nope, because... Okay, at least I haven't skipped that yet. Gotta pay attention in these directions, because they don't tell you which uh, which parts you're going to use. So it's easy to skip steps. If you simply... Here's a missile from yesterday's build. simply overlook part and you're gonna wonder why it's there in this step but you didn't do it this was yesterday's build the 2018 x-wing fighter you can see the uh, missiles here it actually has four one on each wing next to next to the uh, actual laser cannons actual We built this one last week. This is the 2006 X-Wing fighter. The one I just showed you was the 2018 X-Wing. Also built this last week. This is the 2021 X-Wing that they just retired last December. I think it's retired, pretty sure. Okay, so let's get step 11 finished. And I certainly don't mind distractions. Come on in and distract me. I would appreciate it during this build because trying to keep it slow. I tend to build pretty fast on stream. Maybe I shouldn't drink so much coffee. Looks like that is all we add in step 13, from what I can tell. That holds these on better. They were not connected very well. Alright, step 14. got this printed part here. I do have the right part.
looks like that's all, all we're adding. And I do have the right color for this piece. The yellow one by two with the connector. And these two one by ones with the technical. All right, that's what we've got so far. And that's about as long as the ship is. We've got basically the whole length of the ship, almost. Almost. Okay, that was 14. Let me double check that one. Yep, okay. So we're switching our view of the ship here. Okay. Now we need these pieces with the stickers. These are my daughter's original sticker job from 2008. She did pretty good on these ones, I would say. They're fairly straight. Pretty good, looks pretty good. She was just a little kid back then, so. She's an adult now, but this was, what, 16 years ago, so. All right, I think that catches us up with uh, all, nope, one thing missing. A big yellow thing. There we go. That makes it a lot sturdier. Step 17. I think this is all we're adding in this step. Let's start out with this. Step 18. Ah, one thing we missed way back here in step 16. We being me. Yeah, 
and these two flats come up to be flush with the level of this piece which enables us to put these pieces on the v-shaped pieces so these definitely have to go on first that catches us up with 16 and not quite though that piece goes there all right so we did this completely out of order but we're gonna survive we're gonna survive it now we can put these pieces on Check it. Good idea to double check it since we don't have uh, the little squares that show us the pieces needed for that step, which is good for checking to see if you've skipped something. These both already had the pieces in them. Look at that. So I had to take it out, put it back in. I switched them. There we go. I think that's everything in step 19. Step 20 times three landing gear. So we're flipping it upside down. Gotcha. So here, this red connector piece in the instructions and I used black again it doesn't really matter and honestly black looks better because it's visible see how that's visible that, that'll still kind of be visible from the bottom so I think black in the end is probably a better choice well let's get all these out before we start building Okay, times three. up into the wing the wing areas like that when it's when it's actually built and you can tuck them like that when it's flying but this is landing position so that works nicely the landing gear that was step 20 I don't see anything else down here on the bottom so might as well set it on the landing gear okay these are flat pieces a two by four and a one by six. And one by six with Technic holes. That leaves a little lip 
for the next piece to go in. This. And we're going to make this right here. end and a peg end like that and what the heck's going on here now this little piece goes on like this Forget what we're doing with this. Something like that. Looks like the picture. what's going right now ah uh, okay I actually forget what this what this is to be honest D2 out of his seat when he's stuck. Could be. It looks like a a bot booter. Get out of your seat. Reject button. Okay, we are gonna put the other half of this together. I guess. I don't know for sure. Okay, we're supposed to keep this upside down. And that is where R2 goes. And this is going to go right underneath R2's foot. So, looks like a bot booter to me. Super eject button for R2-D2 to go flying out of his... Uh, his uh, little area. But I can't see that in there very well. Okay, 
I've turned it around. Don't know if I was supposed to yet, but I did. There, I guessed right. This already has a sticker on it. There we go. Matches the shape there. Also has the uh, sticker there. The sticker's almost coming off. <laughs> Just holding on. Stickers originally placed by my daughter when she was a wee little thing in 2008 or 2009. Anything else? Nope. So it looks like we're halfway through the build here, sort of. Because up to date with step four. Whoopsie daisy. Step five. Flip it. That's supposed to be like a cannon, some sort of laser cannon or something like that. Okay, and now we flip it.
Ah, gotcha. Okay. Okay. There we go. Step seven. Step eight is make some torpedoes. Make, well, we'll make both now, but we'll just install one here. One goes on each side. Some sort of uh, warhead here. You can uh, shoot it out like that. See that it comes out with so much force that it just stops. There we go. Careful there, kids. Oh wait, there's no warning here not to put your sibling's eye out, so it's okay to. Everywhere else where they don't want you to, they're they're sh they're very clear about it. Here it's fine. Oh, is this wing done already? My goodness, that that wing is done already. We're going to attach it with them attachers. There we go. Already looking nice. Whoops, careful there, cowboy. It's a little bit fragile. Some of these older models are a little bit fragile. Looks like we're building the other wing now. And I have tried to build this build slowly. But these are all the pieces we have left. And these. Muting for dog bark. Okay, dog's done barking. These are all the pieces we have left. So, we'll build the other wing. Then uh, we'll build this uh, tail fin back here. And we have to put the canopy in. And of course, uh, we need to put an R2. We won't put that one, that's too new. doesn't go quite with the set. We use this old guy for the pilot and this old R2. Those are older models, but they check out. Set this aside here for now. Might as well put the pilot. Pilot? Pilot. Are we done with the pilot seat? I think we are. There we go. Yeah. He's good to go. put R2 in. R2's good to go and uh, R2 has the uh, the old ejector button. Don't forget about that. Whee! Let's see if we can actually eject R2 out of there. R2 is safe. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. ahead step three I just did step four 
four. Cheers. Stay hydrated, everybody. Flipping it. Putting this puppy on. The Ahsoka Starship has these same kind of cannons. I think they're supposed to be, you know, some sort of laser cannons pointing off the front. Alrighty, I think uh, we need to flip this over. Do some other things on the bottom like the connectors. on there and the uh, torpedo launcher with torpedo go ahead and put an eye out kids it's okay it's, it doesn't say not to all right now we're attaching this wing more parts yes this is the tail fin part little connector in there you can see Oh my goodness! How's it going, Avij? <laughs> and Foxy! Felmesh! How is it going? Crowd goes wild! Crowd goes wild. That's a good pun. I like it. <laughs> How are you people doing? Strike! How's it going? If you guys don't know me, I'm GH316. Please just call me GH. Love it. I love it. Thank you for the raid, Avij. I really appreciate that. I am a uh, variety streamer, I guess you would say. I like to stream games like Fallout 76 or occasionally Fallout 3. I might even try Fallout 4 sometime. Or Fallout New Vegas. See? Variety. <laughs> Yo! It was a great day of uh, Lego Skywalker Saga. Nice! Yeah, I saw you were playing that. I was uh, lurking over there, so I probably just raided myself. I did. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Thanks for the rate of each. I appreciate that. And just in case there's anybody in here who doesn't already follow a Vige, could be, could be, never know. Let me uh, give a Vige a shout out. A Vige is another variety streamer, 
but the real kind. <laughs> and Ovid not only does games, a variety of games, uh, currently on Helldivers and some uh, Lego Star Wars kind of things going on, and uh, <clears throat> the Lego Skywalker Saga, for example, also builds Lego on stream, like me. So if you like watching people build Lego on stream, go follow Ovid. Uh, Saturdays and Mondays usually for Lego and other days for uh, for video games. Correct me if I missed anything there, Avij. VG Silverhand, how's it going? Good to see ya. Missed the raid message, but hello, no problem, no problem. Finished uh, episode 4, 5, 6 today, uh, 7, 8, and 9 next Tuesday. Nice, wow. That's some serious gaming. Those must, uh, those must fly through there, fly by, huh? To do that in like uh, six or seven hours, amazing. Red builds, hello, how are you? If I missed anybody, please let me know. I think I got everybody. Good to see everybody in here. We are doing this. I hope nobody's in ads or anything, but and we're almost done actually. It's a little short stream because it's uh, there's only like 145 pieces in this set. So yeah, I like this little kit. We. Uh, this has been in the family since it was new in 2008. So this is at least the third time I built this. Probably built it more. And we're almost done. We have like one thing left to put on here. Before we do that, I'll show you the, uh, this back here is a button you can push and it's the uh, R2-D2 ejection button. And if you push it hard enough, you can actually blast him out of the seat. Let's see if I can do it right. Oh, come on. Come on, R2. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's the kind of entertainment you'll get if you follow me right now. Follow is free. All right. This is the last piece. Look at this. You guys all came in time for the last piece. You raided just in time, Avij. And thank you very much for the raid. I really appreciate it. And Foxy, did I say hi to you? I meant to. Fox hug for Foxy. I don't have Fox hugs here. I need to. I don't have any kind of hugs here. I need hugs. And I appreciate the follows. I really do. I really do appreciate the follows. Uh, like a VJ, I have anonymous follows. I won't be calling followers out unless you uh, say hello in chat. But there we go. This is not the proper pilot. I'm supposed to have... Um, See? Not the proper pilot. I'm supposed to have Anakin in there. Uh-oh, ship's falling apart already. Some of these older ships are a little bit... A little bit fragile. I really do appreciate those fellows. A lot, guys. And Shadow Dragon. Thank you, Velmesh. I appreciate that. And yeah, once I put this back on here... That's supposed to be Anakin flying it, but we lost the Anakin years ago. And this probably isn't the right R2-D2, but it doesn't really matter. The ship is uh, is done. So there you go. Not bad. I like it. And do you guys have any ideas for uh, people we should raid into? I probably would like to keep it in the uh, Lego family. But I would love to raid with all you people. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. And uh, bunny hugs back to you, Foxy. Let me set up, I'm gonna look over here for, uh, okay, I see one guy. Oh, there we go. I may have raided into this person just yesterday. Did I? It doesn't matter. I see a Lego streamer, Brooks Bricks, um, and they are doing Rivendell. Oh, nice. The Rivendell set's really cool. So if you guys would hang out with me for this raid, I'd super appreciate it. That would be super nice. I'm going to set it up right now. And I will be back tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning, with Fallout, a little short Fallout stream, and then more LEGO Star Wars stuff in the afternoon. All month long, I've been uh, doing LEGO Star Wars uh, builds. So There we go. Brooks Ricks. 
It's all set up. I'd love it if you guys would accompany me out here. I'm setting up the raid. I appreciate uh, I appreciate the raid uh, of each a lot, and all the support you give me of each I appreciate it a lot. And if anybody here is not following of each, please go follow of each. I think most of you came in with of each though. We're gonna go raid Brooks Bricks, another uh, brick builder. Um, so please hang out with me. We're gonna go do that right now. Thanks guys. Bye. Let's go. GH316 rating in. Hello, GH316. 